Alright, yeah, um, makers around the world are making this quick video on the ESP and the Arduino Uno. I made a first video on the Uno and the Mega, and I've had people complain about connections and it's not working for them and the Uno and all those ones. So I decided to make this quick video as well here. Alright, so I'm gonna talk about the connections on the on the ESP and the Uno first time. I think that's a major concern people raise there. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna follow the orientation where you are gonna have your header to your left and you're gonna have your antenna to your right. That's basically the orientation we have here where TX is the first pin then then we come having um G and D as our last pin. That's pin eight, okay. Um I'd like to talk a little bit on the CHPD pin here. CHPD pin here, I don't really know what it does. I have no idea about it, but then for some reason I tried and um, experimented um, by 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 the Espino guys. They are like I supposed to connect. I was supposed to have that one connected to to VCC, and by the moment I don't have it connected to VCC, I don't have communication. I have communication issues, especially when I connect. Um, I'm powering my Arduino with my my USB. I have to power it with a, an external source. So I just presume that. Um, that 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 determines how much current is being drawn and how far the antenna um is getting communication with the radio i don't care really much about the distance because um, my wi-fi is 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 is, is in reach within a sh within a short distance i have a couple of um video buffers in the house so um my signal strength is very strong around the house so i don't too bother uh so what i did was um i connected a 3.3k from the chpd to VCC and that really gave me very good results I'm um, running this in the whole day powered my Arduino with my USB cable here that means I would see it was running less cable here all right and the next thing we're going to talk about the GPIO zero here GPIO zero here um, is, is, is the is the run pin and then the program pin so basically anytime uh, anytime we, we want to run the program on the on the ESP we always make sure it's connected to VCC. Don't bother that other one going to a resistor. You can connect it to VCC straight, and then the, if you want to program the ESP, you, go, you connect it to ground. All right. Never forget your ESP is powered by 3.3 volts, and then your RST is your hardware reset. It's connected to pin 7 on your Arduino. You can change that one in the software as you wish, and depending on your pin availability. Okay. All right. So let's look at the code. Um, this is Arduino and what we do was to introduce software serial that was going to communicate with the ESP was the hardware serial communicate um, with the debug terminal here yeah. I didn't want to do any extra wiring just have my USB connected in there and then use the hardware portion just to display everything on the terminal to know what is going on with the system here and the code is just the same as the old one I had for the Mega nothing has changed so just go ahead and try it here. Yeah. I'm going to load this one on the ESP. Sorry, I'm going to load it on the Uno. And that is it, it's done. So the next I'm just I'm going to open up a small program, open with TCP server here, which runs on port 444. And I'm going to open my share monitor, hit reset, and then let's see what, what I have in here. I'm going to have a couple of uh, communication issues um, with my router. I don't know what's wrong with my router. It's been having a couple of issues, and um, I think it's, it's due to change. Alright, the connector gives me an IP address of a 10.2. Alright, and then we can see, let's see, okay, alright, client found, client connected, and then I'm just ready to start some communication from the client. That's my ESP here. So you can see there's a beautiful communication over TCP IP with my device, and this is going to be good for wireless sensor data, which you can be sending to TeamSpeak or whatever. Um, station you have out there just let me know I tried it with things speak and it works fine I've had a couple of data sent out so if you have issues um, send it to things speak just let me know if you have issues um, still having communication with your Uno and then the ESP don't don't hesitate just send me a quick email I'm, I'm out here just trying to stop I'm just I'm out here supporting the makers all over the world and then and uh, just to make me myself a, a big maker <laughs> So that is what I have uh, for the Uno and then the ESP8266 um, and then a big shout out to all the makers around the world. Thanks for watching my video and then have a nice day.